In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. nostrils the breath of life. God created man and woman in his likeness. Then God looked upon all he had done and saw that it was good. No, I'm not spying. Exactly. Look, Dad's been working for weeks on a top-secret project. Only he won't even let me into the lab. What doesn't he want me to see? Oh, no. I've run out of Amphigorium 233, and I simply can't finish my invention without it. Anything I can do to help while you're gone, Dad? Uh, no. And Chris, remember, do not go in the lab. Is that clear? Yes, sir. <sighs> Good. Okay, gotta go. Hey, Dad left the door open. We better make sure everything's okay. Gizmo, nothing's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Hey! See? No problem. And now I'll just put it back in. can clean this up before Dad gets home. We does not compute, Chris. Uh, aren't you the one who disobeyed your father? Superbook! Superbook, this is a very bad time to... I am taking you to a place in time Disobedience destroyed the world. Giz, where 
are we? I cannot lock in on our time or location. Do not be afraid. No harm will come to you here. My name is Michael, and you are in heaven. The perfect gift that God has promised to all of his children. It's amazing. What is that trumpet blast? I do not know. the power to reward you beyond your dreams! How you have fallen from heaven, O oh Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations. Yet now you are brought down to the lowest depths of the pit. Why did 
did he do this? He thought he could be like God. We call this Eden. <gasps> I am Adam. And I am called Eve. Psst! Why aren't they wearing clothes? I don't know. Just deal with it. Okay, I'm good. When I was naming the animals God put here for us, I must have missed you. I'm Chris. And I'm Joy. And I'm... No, no, wait. I will come up with something. You are... Uh... I'll give you a hint. I'm Gizmo. Gizmo. That is perfect. <laughs> Gizmo it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> now what's your... <laughs> Uh, why didn't it eat us? Why would it? Because that's what wild animals do? Not here in Eden. God has filled this place with many wonders. Come, let us show you. See Eden's four great rivers. Ah, yes. The Tigris, the Euphrates, Pishon, and Gihon. How did you know their names? Uh, uh he... Lucky guess. Oh, you who created the majesty of this universe. Oh, how I shall ravage your glorious work, one simple perfection at a time. Earth will be my new domain. my fifth Gizmolicious Blendtastic Fruit Smoothie. Mmm, how come food doesn't taste this good back home? No preservatives. God has given us everything here in the garden. Which we may enjoy as long as we do not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Why is eating that food a problem? It is what God told me. He only wants what is best for us. So whatever he asks of us, we do. Anything else would be... Disobedient? And Chris, remember, do not go in the lab. Yeah, disobedient. That's the word. Come, let us show you our favorite waterfall. Don't worry. Huh? Your father will forget all about it. Day. I wish we could stay forever. Joy, remember that angel we saw in heaven? The bad one? He's here, in Eden. And I think he can shapeshift. No way, Chris. He fell into a fiery pit, remember? You've been seeing things. That's what worries me. Be 
careful what you choose. What do you mean? Has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. You surely will not die. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. You see, you've touched the fruit and you did not die. Told us not to. I know, Adam. I know. What was that? Man, this is going to be a bad storm. Better find Adam and Eve. You want us to be slaves! You are slaves! People, they're so simple. Adam, where are you? I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. What is this you have done? The serpent deceived me, and I ate. <laughs> Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And you and the woman will be enemies and all her descendants. And one will follow who shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Your sorrow and in pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. 
Cursed is the ground for your sake. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. from over, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. And so begins my reign on Earth! I gonna do about this? Oh no, Professor Quantum is home. <gasps> Christopher? My word, what happened here? No excuse, Dad. I came into the lab even though you told me not to, and I saw the jetpack and. Uh... Son, you're a human, and sometimes we humans don't follow the rules, even when we know it's wrong. Dad, I'm sorry. Do you still love me? I'll always love you. However, when you knowingly disobey, there are consequences. I think for the next month, there's no going to the mall with your friends or the skateboard park. You'll also have to clean up this lab, buy another lamp, fix the stool, wash the windows. Don't worry, Chris. I can handle all that for you in a chip.
It's the new Superbook Bible app. <laughs> it's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. You and I just in